Nothing changed, we don't mess with you lames Most underrated in the game yeah. Skip goes hard. hard Disconnect the haters from the ballers Are you standing in line for the dollar? Yeah. Almighty You ain't never seen a shoe like this you, get them you ain't never bust a move like this You ain't, got no more. You ain't rocking nothing new like this on, You ain't never watch YouTube like this Damn. What's up, people? This is Skip Goes Hard. Y'all know what it is, man. I am will always be the most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. Facts. Today's date is May 3rd, 2019, man. Y'all read the title. Y'all know what it is. Y'all see the thumbnail, man. This is my first look and a lot of y'all's first look on the women's Air Jordan 12 alligator reptile a uh, certain type of leather on this shoe. Y'all see it. We'll get into the review in a little bit. It is May 3rd, so pretty much in a few hours, we're gonna find out if I and a lot of us who missed out on the shock drops, AKA the peekaboo releases of the Air Jordan 4 breads, we're gonna find out if we got that reservation for them tomorrow, man. So I think in a few hours, we're about to find out. And I need I need a pair, oh, or two, or three. Man, y'all know what it is, but enough of that, man. This video's not, we're not talking about no Air Jordan 4 breads. We're talking about these Air Jordan 12s. Now, I don't even know the, the official nickname for these shoes, but I know they come out, I believe, May 17, 2019, which is like in a couple of weeks. Um, this is a shoe. This is a women's Air Jordan 12. So some sizes will be, if, depending on if you're a guy, depending on what size your foot is, you could get your pair of, uh, I don't know, Reptile 12s or whatnot, man. But enough talking, man. Let's get into it, y'all. Look. First off, man, these shoes come in this white, white ass box with the gold jump man right there. Man, these are hard, man. This the size I'm gonna show you all is a size eight women's Air Jordan 12 retro, black, metallic, gold, and white, all right there. And I like the fact that the box is white. It's something different from the standard black box with the gold jump man on top. You know what I mean? So man, let's get into it. Taking the first pair out. Oh, and it just to, just to let you all know, the pair you get, man, is gonna have that white paper with the gold 23s. I'm gonna see y'all see. Oh my gosh, right paper with the gold 23s all on it. So let's get it cracking, man. Bam, Air Jordan 12, women's reptile type ish type deal. Now the leather. The leather on this shoe is not that bad. It's not really that senior citizen nursing home leather that I like, that soft leather. It's not really like that. It's a little hard, but the way it looks on the size, man, it's not that bad at all. This is kind of like your, maybe like a women's playoff in a way, in a way, just because you have that black upper and then you got the white midsole with the white bottom. Now on the bottom, you got that carbon fiber right there which you know you already know you got a tap but it has kind of like a like a goldish kind of like tint i don't know if you all can see it right there you got the two black pods and you got that jump man right on the bottom there the big toe now on the upper you still got that you know what i mean like a, it's like a reptile ish type look the leather is it's is decent like i said the leather is not that soft so when you get these shoes you ladies when you get these shoes don't expect nice soft purse leather like Dooney and Burke leather like all that stuff don't expect that because it's not really that soft but it, it's decent and it's a shoe that is be fairly easy to clean this only thing you might have to worry about is it's like kind of like that white midsole and especially ladies if you drive you already know what's gonna happen right here on that that gas pedal foot when that heel keeps rubbing against that dirty ass floor mat you know what I mean like it's gonna get dirty right there y'all know that y'all should know that um, the jump man right there. You got that gold jump man. And then when you face the back of the shoe, gold jump man with the black. And it has Jordan quality inspired by the greatest player ever. Jordan right there. And then you got the 23, which is uh like a white out 23. I believe on the playoffs, the 23 is red, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I haven't seen a pair of playoff 12s in a minute since probably like the last time. But man, you got that gold right there, jump man on the side, and then coming along down the tongue, you have the two, I don't know y'all can really see, but two, three, 
which you know standard Air Jordan 12s, gold Jumpman 2 and 3, 23, and then on the uh, this side right here you got that gold, gold little space right there. Man, these are these are pretty decent. I mean, these these are pretty decent. These are for the women right here. I don't know if a lot of dudes are gonna try to get this shoe, depending on the ones who can actually fit the uh, you know the sizing of it. I know as far as women, you got the watermelon retro twelves that are coming out uh, in about in a week or in a, around a week. And you got these coming out in a couple weeks. The shoe, the shoe is not that bad. It's not that bad at all. I've seen it in person. I mean, like I said, I, I have pretty much mixed feelings with it. Some people really like this shoe, but I'm, I'm the type of person, like, I really, really have to like it. And as you can tell, my most recent pickups, shoes that I feel go hard. Like the Captain Gown 13s, y'all trash them, they go hard. Man, those Phantom Cell Air Jordan 1s, y'all trash them, they go hard. The Turbo Green Air Jordan 1s, y'all trash them, they go hard. Stop playing with me, y'all. <laughs> Fresh. I wear what I like, man. Y'all stop being mean. But yeah, man. Uh, yeah, this is. I want to call these like the reptile twelves or crocodile, or whatever. Cause just like I said, the, like the way the leather looks right there, all on the side of the shoe. The shoelaces are pretty much basic, basic Air Jordan twelve laces. Nothing special. And the little eyelets right here, aglets, or whatever you all call them, where I call them, whatever, they're gold on the side right here. So pretty much this is a this is a decent shoe. I feel if this shoe came in men's, they would have that probably like maybe 200 220 price tag. But the thing is, if these were to come in men's, would this shoe be really, really hyped up? Especially if the shoe came out before the bread fours. You know what I mean? Because the bread fours come out before these. So people are already gonna, you know, they already effed off their money for the bread four. So even women, women, the ladies, the kids, whatever, they go, they already effed off their money for the bread four, to hype the bread four. So when these come out, these might sit. You know what I mean? Uh, I know these should be releasing in, in stores, but I know for sure on the Nike sneakers app as well as all the other other women releases. But man, I mean, when you think about it, the shoe, the shoe is not that bad. Me seeing it in person, I'm like, okay, you know what I mean? Is it something that I'm gonna be really, really trying to push to get anybody? No. I do know that the women's Air Jordan 1 Panda colorway or whatever, those are hard. I would I would try to get those. And I like the watermelon Air Jordan 11's uh, lows for women too, man. Those are hard too. But these right here, this is a shoe that if you really, really want them, I'm sure it'll be very easy to get. Uh, all the ladies out there, if your favorite silhouette is the Air Jordan 12, I'm sure you will have these in the collection. Uh, men, you know what I mean? Your favorite silhouette is the 12. I'm sure you'll try to get these. Even if you can't even wear it, you'll just know that you have like a fresh pair of Air Jordan 12s in the collection, y'all, right here. And let me even get the other shoe. Side by side, right there. This is what they look like. Got a left shoe and a right shoe. Now, I will admit that the tongue, it's, it's, it's a leather tongue, so already the shoe might have a kind of like weird feeling, you know, it to sit for it to be like a leather tongue. And you know, I'm actually tripping because the inside, the inside of the shoe, I don't know y'all can really see, but the inside of the shoe is leather or, 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 you know, leather, quote, leather, leather, you know what I mean? So this might have a pretty weird feel once you put it on, the whole inside of the shoe is leather, which that's that's pretty neat to know, you know, for the women. Jordan Brand, you know, stepping it up for the women, because I know a lot, a lot of ladies, they complain about how Jordan Brand will really skimp on the women's shoes and, and focus toward the men's shoes, which is true. It's been like that for forever, and it's going to continue to be like that. But this is a shoe that I'm sure, you know, ladies will enjoy. Men too, if you can get a, uh, a size that you can actually, you know, rock. Uh, man, but for the most part, I give this shoe out of five red gloves, I give it probably like three, maybe point point five, three point five because the inside is leather. That's pretty neat, but just yeah, three point five red gloves on deck, man. Uh, but you know what? That's mainly it, man. Look, if you're new to my channel, man, go ahead and subscribe. Skip goes hard. The most underrated, never duplicated sneaker YouTuber in the game. That's facts. 
like this video leave a comment share the video and subscribe to the channel that is it man last look watch the ads and wash y'all's asses i'm out peace and go ahead and peep the moonwalk at the end of this video i'm out peace